video I'm sharing with you all of the fun new items that I picked up at Dollar Tree after all of the Christmas items are getting clearanced out. So make sure you stay tuned to see everything that I picked up. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I love to make cute DIYs and home decor, but I also love to bring you along whenever I find awesome new things at Dollar Tree because a lot of my DIYs are made with just uh, cheap dollar store items. So I just like to go ahead and share them with you all so that you can go ahead and start looking uh, for these items at your store or run out and get them before they sell out. But before I get on into sharing everything that I did pick up, I do just want to give you a huge thank you for 2019, everyone that subscribed hit the thumbs up button, commented, and just all of your tips and tricks that I got to give back and share with everyone. It's just so much fun being in this crafting community and you all really make up this channel and I just want to say thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I hope that everyone had a Merry Christmas. We had a lot of fun uh, enjoying time with our friends and our family. So I just wanted to say that. But now let's jump on into everything that I did pick up at Dollar Tree. I'm excited to see everything they're going to come out with for Valentine's Day. I actually asked one of the workers and she said that they were going to start putting up Valentine's decor the day after I was there. She was like, we're going to try to get it up in the morning. So I was a day late, but I am going to still try to run back in there as soon as possible because I've been seeing a few little previews online on other people's Instagrams and it just looks beautiful. So I'm so excited to go get my hands on some new Valentine's Day decor. So you'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you have already seen any Valentine's decor in any of your dollars trees but I did find some really cute items my Dollar Tree was pretty much emptied out I went to two of them and all of the Christmas decor was 50% off I did pick up a couple things like some stencils that I didn't get before I went ahead and just uh, put them in my Christmas storage tubs so I'm not gonna share them with you all but let me just show you one of my favorite things that I picked up before I forget make sure you are subscribed because I am gonna put out a ton of new DIYs in 2020 that I'm so excited about. I've already planned out the next couple of months and I tried to put uh, some videos that you all really enjoyed last year back in there and I'm just so excited to get to start filming again. But my favorite item that I picked up were these dry bouquets. I thought they were beautiful. They look perfect for rustic farmhouse decor and I just thought that they were really pretty. Like I think that is the most beautiful little flower and it has like the purple and these are just brown and white so they would match it, especially if you go for like the neutral farmhouse and I just thought that these would be so pretty down in some of like the Dollar Tree glassware and like tie a ribbon or anything on it. I thought that maybe they were smelly like they were potpourri or something but they're not. They're just really pretty. The next thing that I picked up was this little tray. It's called an activity tray and it's hot pink. And I just thought that this would be perfect to like put my little paint trays in there and pour the paint on this because sometimes I overfill it and it gets on the table or sometimes I need to set my hot glue gun down. And I just thought like this is a really nice sturdy thick plastic that this would just be perfect to catch excess paint like I say or even like when I'm painting and I don't want to wash my brushes out instantly I can just set them in here and it just kind of keeps my workspace protected and for a dollar I thought this was like really nice just to keep on hand and keep on top of my crafting uh, table. They also had some beautiful little stationery. This says grow where you're planted. It's a little cactus notebook and they also have the coordinating notepad with the little cactuses on there and then this really tall slim notebook and I just love having these on hand if I don't use these my daughters will they love grabbing little notebooks and writing in them and then they had this little one that says this girl won't stop I thought that would be cute for the little girls and I just love having paper on hand especially in my desk whenever I do voiceovers or something I can kind of jot down things that I do want to mention in the video and it's just handy that I can just throw them out and they're really small to fit perfectly into the drawers. Uh, Dollar Tree also had some beautiful little planner stickers. I love my planner. I use the Happy Planner and I actually found one at Ross on sale for like five bucks and it's kind of like a younger looking one. It's full of like ice cream and rainbows but it says uh, choose joy and it's really cute and girly so I really love it. But it just makes me so happy whenever Dollar Tree has the beautiful little planner stickers. They have uh, different themes like the pink and the gold and then on the back they actually have like all of the holidays. I love putting holiday stickers and decorating the pages of my Happy Planner. It just makes work feel so much more fun whenever it's decorated all pretty. 
And then I missed these little stickers, but they also had the little cactus stickers, which is really cute. That also coordinate with the notebook and the like the notepad. So really cute items, and these would be perfect uh, to keep on hand for like someone's birthday, and you just kind of add that into their gift. It's just cute little accessories. The next thing that I picked up were these wall stickers. I thought these would be perfect for a DIY with the little uh, succulents. And I didn't get any of these last year. I saw a different uh, version of these, and I just thought they were really cool looking. And you can use these on a ton of DIYs already, these beautiful little succulents. So I just picked them up. It looks like if you actually put these on your wall, it makes some kind of a little uh, heart at the top. And then you put these little ones around the bottom. So it's really cute. And they're such fun, bright spring colors. So I'm excited to make some DIYs that are not all red. I love Christmas DIYs, but I made tons of Christmas uh, decor this year, so I'm ready and so excited to get to start making fresh spring items. Like I say, I didn't have a lot of Valentine decor, but I think this was supposed to go with the Valentine's Day uh, items. And it's just these little jewelry trays or trinket dishes. I got a donut and then this cute little heart with the arrows. These are perfect. I love picking up items like this because uh, my daughters get a lot of use out of little stuff like that. They love little trinkets sitting around in their room. Speaking of little trinket trays, I also picked up these little metal tins. I'm not sure what these would be cute for, but they're all about jewelry making right now and uh, crafting. So I thought these would be perfect to put little buttons in or even for myself. These are so cute. Uh, the Dollar Tree did have a bunch of like younger girl um, bright shiny colored items and these are so cute. They had a lot of mermaid stuff and unicorn stuff and my girls went crazy. They were so excited to get a couple things to hang up above their beds but uh, this one is pink with a little unicorn and then this one says be a mermaid and make waves and it's got a cute little mermaid and a seahorse on there but I thought these were so cute and like I say these would be perfect for crafting items. The next thing that I found are these new little candles in a jar and these are called Flashpoint Candle or that's the brand on there. But this is called Maui Melon and it says hand poured candle and it actually smells really good. Like I was really shocked but it really does smell like a watermelon. I haven't burnt these so I don't know what they're going to smell like whenever I'm burning them. But it does smell really good. So I just wanted to show you all the options. They come in these really cute little jars. This would be a really great gift idea if you see these to add into like a friend's gift basket or a Mother's Day gift basket. But uh, they also have this in basil and herbs and then spring dew. And they're all like the same in this little jar but they are different colors. And these are so cute and fresh looking. Just perfect for spring. And they all do smell really good. I think the watermelon is my favorite. But the basil is really good too. It reminds me of the Mrs. Myers basil scent if you use that. So it smells really good. Speaking of candles, um, they also had these aromatherapy candles. This one says stress relief and it is in eucalyptus and peppermint and these smell really good as well. And this one is energy and it says mandarin and the positivity is grapefruit and bergamot. And I don't know what that is. They smell really good to be a dollar. I think uh, I'm excited to burn these and see like if it really does kind of like freshen up the air. Dollar Tree had these little candle holders and these would hold tea lights. Uh, this one says love and they're kind of gold and have the designs all over them. And then I got two that say hope. I really wish um, that I could have got the third one saying something different. But I thought that I might could turn like the middle one around so it says like hope and love on the sides and then the middle one just looks plain. But I love the little designs around them and even though it is kind of indented in, if you painted these white uh, or to go with my decor better, they still would kind of leave a cool design around there. They had a box of these and these were the last three so I'm really excited to see if they do bring these back and if there is like different words or if they did have different colors. And then I found these really cute little pillows from Dollar Tree. This one is just a blue little circle called a pleated pillow. And these were in the crafting section or with the candles in my store just in a little box. And then there was also this little puppy pillow. 
and just for a dollar I thought that these would be really cute um, to throw in the car my girls uh, especially if we like go out for dinner and it gets really late and my girls get sleepy they always wish they had a pillow or something soft to kind of lean their head over on so I thought for a dollar these would be perfect just to leave out in the car and uh, especially for like napping kids or like put it in their car seat so that they can kind of lay over on this and then like I was saying, they have a lot of cute little girly decor pieces out. I picked up this Mermaids Take Shelfies and it's got this cute little sequin mermaid on there. I thought she was really cute. It kind of looks like water in the background. But little items like this, my girls just go crazy over it because they want to change their room out so much. So you don't have to like always just go and buy like high end uh wall art or anything you can just buy these and kind of put it in with uh, some neutral stuff and they can just kind of swap it out pretty quickly uh, so one of my girls is into mermaids and then the other one is into unicorns and we found this cute little plastic unicorn on a gold chain and I thought it was just so sweet looking um, and then there's the back it's just plain but this is kind of like a thin plastic so it would break um, if you kind of bent on it but just kind of hanging up on a little hook or something or on a thumbtack, this would be so cute. And then another little mermaid piece was this cute little frame that has like pom-poms in it. And it says, let's make a splash with a little mermaid back there. I love little fun stuff like this. This is so cute. This looks like something that would have come from the Target dollar spot, I think, in like the kids section. I actually have another picture from Target Dollar Spot that has the little pom-poms in there and it, they're just cute little pieces to set on shelves. It also has the ribbon hanger on the back and this one says let's go party and it has the flamingos also with the super colorful little pom-poms. So I just thought that these were super sweet and I was excited to get these for a buck. Another cute find was these little frames with these girls with like tulle skirts on and I just thought that they were kind of a cute unique piece. Um, like if you had like a teenager or preteen that had like a little vanity or a beauty room, these would be really cute putting, putting them kind of like with makeup brushes or items like that. These were the only two that I saw, but um, like I say, my Dollar Tree was wiped out, I guess, where um, everybody was out shopping like for Christmas and then after Christmas sales. So even like the new items that I hadn't seen before were just gone. The boxes were pretty much empty. So I was so happy that I got some of these items whenever I did. I have been loving the little scrunchies with the bows. We love bows, obviously, on my channel. I use bows all the time. But I also enjoy, um, my girls are kind of in that stage where they cannot stand like clip-in bows. But my daughter will wear little bows on her ponytail and stuff like that. And then I even love these whenever I am around the house just to kind of put this in my bun and kind of dress it up a little bit. But they had these little scrunchies with the bows on there. These were really cute. They also had this in gold, I want to say. But I didn't like that one, so I passed on it. But I just thought the pink and the gray would be perfect and uh, pretty much go with anything. And then I just kind of picked up some crafting stuff. I found these wooden beads. They have uh, quite a few pieces. This one has 85. It's the little square beads. And then I found some round ones and these little oblong pieces. And I have seen wood beads at Dollar Tree, but not packaged like this, which I think this is the Crafter Square. Yes. So I don't know if it's like new, but I just thought that these would be really handy. I know some of these circle beads you can use kind of for eyes when you make crafts or um, just if you need something to like stick out to make it look like a little bit 3D, you can put some of these little uh, wooden pieces in between them and then just kind of glue something over the top of it to kind of make it look 3D. So there's just a bunch of uses for these and I wanted to keep them on hand before they sold out. Last year I saw these, but I never picked them up but I thought they would be fun to have on hand for this spring and Easter, but these are the moss stones. I heard a lot of people kind of like didn't love these, um, so I'll just have to try them. I don't know. So anyways, I picked them up and I am excited to, like I say, start spring fresh DIYs and just kind of make my home feel like brighter and like bring in some nature and natural looking items. And this is kind of the boring things, but I picked up some of these little reclosable bags and I'm so excited because my daughters um, steal my Ziploc bags for crafting and I even like don't know what to do with my buttons all the time. So these little baggies are perfect. You get 20 of them. I picked up two 
These are perfect for beads and buttons and safety pins and chalk or really anything. And if you set up at craft shows, these are perfect for like if you make any kind of like magnetic board, you can put the little magnets in here or just anything like that. These would be really cute and you could even kind of like write on here and like tape it to the back of whatever needs some like accessories. And then the rest of the items that I found were just kind of repeat buys. I got some more burlap ribbon to make some cute bows for all of my upcoming DIYs. I got some nautical rope and some more of the wall stickers and like the numbers and the letters. So just boring stuff. But I did want to go ahead and pick them up just to have everything on hand and kind of get started. I am so, so, so excited to get back to crafting. I know that I have took a little bit of time off for Christmas. I posted my giveaway and the craft crafting bundle that I gave away my craft organizer, my heat gun, my fuse tool, some ribbon, and my favorite plier set went to Joanna Neal. We have already contacted her and she was so excited. So I'm so excited for her to get that package. That will be so fun. If you're interested in picking up any of my favorite crafting uh, tools or supplies, I will put their links down below and maybe you can go check those out. And then you'll have to let me know what you got for Christmas. I'd be so excited to know. You all shared with me what you were asking for and it was a lot of items like the Cricut or the heat gun or glue guns or crafting supplies but you also ask for instant pots and crock pots and it's just fun so leave that down below for Christmas I actually uh, me and my husband got a Nintendo switch I love playing Mario I'm not into gaming or anything like that but I'm just a 90s kid I love Mario I like the Super Nintendo version so we've been playing that and it's so much fun I love that Nintendo switch and then he also got me a weighted blanket which is so fun and then I also got some like games and kitchen stuff. I got some decor to hang up. So I'm excited to get all of my stuff out. My house is still a crazy wreck from Christmas. There's just toy piles everywhere. So we're just still kind of organizing and finding places for everything to go. But I'm so excited to get all of my stuff out and get to kind of put it and find new places for everything to go. So let me know what you got for Christmas. I really hope you all have a happy holiday with the new year coming up. Make sure you are subscribed because like I say, I have so many fun ideas. Leave any ideas down below that you would like to see. I have been asking you all over on Instagram what you want to see. And I'm just trying to intertwine all of your what you all want to see with the cool ideas that I have for you all. So make sure you subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and like I said let me know if you find Valentine stuff at your Dollar Tree so I can get to looking for it. Thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!